legend is growing. James, two seconds, one second for the win. Oh, James delivers. James has 45. A truly remarkable performance once again. Does anything ever surprise you with LeBron James? Just three seconds. Three. Throws up the floater. Good night, Cleveland. That is for you. James. Oh. James. How many times have we seen this movie? Steps tries it again. Puts it in as the shot clock expires. Game drives, foul, shots good, and one, 46 points. This is just one of the game's greatest players of all time. Ready to go for game seven. James drives, gets in the paint. Falling away is up and good. Rogier to the basket. Oh, blocked by James. He did it again. Here comes James in the open floor. James, ran from behind. Count it! Goal 10 and 1. LeBron James and the Cavs do it again. LeBron James leads the postseason in scoring and minutes so far. He has seven 40-point games, a pair of buzzer beaters, three triple-doubles, and an eighth straight visit to the finals already. It's a nice little spring portfolio, <laughs> right? He's but that he, good, man. But he made a point uh, Wednesday of saying he will not be the only all-time great on the floor when the finals tip. Listen, Golden State is one of the best teams I've ever played. It's one of the best teams that's ever been assembled. Um, you know, um, and, then, and then they added Kevin Durant. So what then, what does that do to him? It even makes him even more dangerous and, um, you know, even more powerful and great and you know and it's just um it, it's for me as a competitor it's just it's fun it's it, it's very it's truly fun and um to 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 know when i'm done playing a game of basketball to know i played against some of the greatest teams i ever played fun maybe uh daunting for certain uh, lebron james just, just couldn't say more nice things about golden state here on Wednesday, and, and the two of you <laughs> believe this is some sort of psychological ploy on James' part. Well, first of all, I, I think it's LeBron doing the right thing by respecting his opponent because of what happened last year. Sure. And also, for me, being around him closely the last two weeks, Zeke, it's his leadership. And his leadership yeah. in this whole process of saying, yes, we're going to respect our opponent. But guys, you new guys never been here before, follow my lead. I have an idea on how to beat this team, but Jeff Green, half the NBA world have written you off. I believe in you. I need you to play well. George Hill, yes, I played against you when you're in Indiana. I need you now. Larry Dance Jr., you've never been here. Yes, All-Star Weekend, you've been slam dunk contest. You were basically getting ready for vacation. No, I need you right now. So that's why if you're a Cavaliers fan, you believe this time around at 33 years old in his 15th year, buzzer beaters, 40 points in the game, this guy has an idea how to beat this team this time around. You know, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And I, and and by the way, everything that he said about Golden State is 100% true. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and you know, but it goes back to what you just hit on in terms of his leadership, in terms of inspiring and giving his other teammates confidence. And and that was never more on display for me than against the Boston Celtics. And, you know, in that seven-game series when we saw Jeff Green, George Hill, you know, they were dead in the water that first quarter. And, you know, LeBron James somehow nursed them back to health, gave them confidence 3D, mm -hmm. got them ready to play in the third and, and fourth quarter, and they went on, and not only offensively did they win the game, but they, in the seventh and deciding game, they helped the Boston Celtics under 100 points mm -hmm. in the Boston Garden. Yep. That just goes to show you how his leadership was on display. And what I'm seeing right now, the way he's talking about Golden State, he understands, like you said, how to beat them. And he's got a plan. And the plan is first to make sure that all his teammates are confident and that they believe that they can walk into this arena and compete. But, but I get the sense from you that you also feel like there's a, a little something there for oh, the yeah, Warriors it, to hear. Yeah, it's the Rupa Dope. I mean, it, it really is the rope of dope. I mean, you know, it, it's it's George Foreman, big and strong. He can hit you so hard, like Muhammad Ali mm -hmm. said. He hit you so hard, he he knocked the wind out of Africa. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and 
and that's that's kind of the setup here. Now, I don't know how Cleveland plans on beating Golden State, but clearly they do have a plan, and I don't know what that plan is, but we'll see it unfold throughout this series. And, and, Matt, and the reason LeBron, in my opinion, is going about that way, because LeBron listens to everything, and everyone's saying, well, we know what happened last year in five, with no Kyrie, how can this happen? Right. Well, LeBron has to be a better leader and empower everyone around him because guys have to make shots. And that's why they struggled in the Boston series because when they didn't make shots, they lost. When they did, they won. That's why LeBron is taking his leadership to the next level. Well, he could just chat with them or he could show them tape of the 2016 NBA. <laughs>